Hi everyone, I'm just gonna get into some quick messages here. This may or may not be for you. I channel multiple energy groups on this channel, so only take it if it resonates. Um, I appreciate your comments too. I'm trying to get back in the algorithm, so even just leaving a heart comment really helps. Um, and I love hearing your stories. I love uh, hearing from you guys as well. So thank you guys for your support. Main male journey, expectation, family room. You have a man here that's that's somebody who's journeying towards you. And I feel like someone's coming towards you and I feel like they have an expectation of, well, why the concern card? Of having some kind of family or some kind of connection, message of concern, okay. House, false person, Family room card, okay. Message of concern. Bad health. Adjudication. Child. Pathway. Okay, I'm getting, I had to pause it just because it's such a strange energy. I kind of, I had to look at it and look at what, like, channel what the storyline is here. I feel like, I feel like be very careful about signing any contracts. If this is for you, this is, it's only for a few specific people. So only take it if it resonates. This is a very small energy group. But for some, someone's trying to steal something from you or they're trying to steal some kind of inheritance here. They're trying to block you. There's some kind of false person trying to block you from something that's rightfully yours is what I'm feeling. Now, now, like I said, be careful. Don't sign, don't sign anything right now. Don't sign anything. Don't sign any contracts. Don't sign any weird agreements. Cause I was getting with this letter here. I kept getting it. I kept channeling that someone's might actually be falsifying documents. Somebody is somebody is sneaky here. Somebody wants in, in court or with some kind of judge here, could even be spiritual law. Somebody wants to pretend to be childlike and innocent and sweet. They, they're going to, they're going to present a sob story here. I just, you know, some, someone wants a house, I feel, or they want something from you. If you have anyone that's like using you financially or they're they're depending on you for something just be very careful not to give too much so i just keep getting something about falsifying documents and also just not signing any contracts reading the fine print going to your own lawyer like you need to be smart here for whoever this is for this is definitely one of those warning messages it might be like a squatter situation too um and you wouldn't know if this is for you. Like if you have like a friend that's staying with you that you're helping out, like you're fine. You're probably good. But it might be one of those situations where it's like if you feel, well, I mean, if you feel like this is for you, it, it could be. It could be one of those situations where it's like, you know, in certain states, if you, if someone lives there over 20, I think it's like over a month or something like that. There, let me pause that while the car alarm goes off. That's definitely a synchronicity. In certain states, if somebody lives there uh, over a month, then they have like, what is it, like squatters rights where they can, they have like legal claim on the property. And I'm honestly feeling like for some that might be the situation where they're trying to, it's like they want to like take someone's house or they want like claim on their house. Like this person like wants, this, this false woman is like, like she wants like a place to stay or she wants a house. She wants to get something from someone and I think she's manipulating to get that. So just be very mindful. You know, you want to help people out, but you want to be careful too, because I feel like this woman is desperate. She has, the way I'm looking at it now that I've channeled it more, is she has this expectation of this man coming towards her, towards her to kind of claim what's rightfully his. I don't feel a really strong romantic connection between them. I feel like this is like friends or siblings or something of that sort. Um, and it could be like two men or two women, just take it as it resonates. But I almost feel like with, it's like she has an expectation to get this house, family room. Then we have concern and message of concern. And I kind of feel like this, this older man or older woman might be sending this message of concern to this woman. I don't think that, 
I don't think she's really concerned about him. So I'm getting a couple storylines. So for some, I actually feel like this is an older relative of hers. And she doesn't really care about this older older man or older woman or he male or female, whoever it is. It's like this could be like a sibling and they don't really care about this person. This person, this person here that's older might be in bad health. And it's like they're kind of it's like someone's trying to to weasel their way in and figure out how they can get the most out of this elderly person, how they can. It's like there might be like a will here with this letter, this message. It's like someone wants to kind of manipulate this elderly person to um, to change their will or to give them something. And I feel like it has to do with the house or some kind of inheritance here. It's like there's some kind of false person. I feel like you would have been intuitively feeling this energy like you. If this is for you, like I said, this is not for everybody. So don't don't get paranoid and be like, oh, yeah, this is probably for me. Like, no, like only if it's resonating with you, if you if you know who this person is and you're like, oh, yeah, that's that's a gold digger right there. That person's shady. I've always known that they don't really care about our older relative here. Then, yeah, this might be for you. Like if it's really resonating, but go with your own intuition. Don't make any hasty decisions. Um, if you do feel like this is for you, I just want to say like either if, if you don't get a reading from me, just do your own reading or get a reading from somebody that you trust. But this is one of those things where you want to look deeper and make sure this is for you before you act on this information. You know what I mean? This is one of those kind of readings where it could be like what you do next could be life changing. So you really want to be mindful. You want to be careful. You want to have all the details. So, you know, just even if it's not with me, just do a reading with somebody that you trust, at least if, if you feel like this is for you. Because I want to make this kind of short. I'm, I'm trying to do some shorter readings here. So and there's going to be different details for everybody. But it's a general message. But yeah, it's like this person is very shady. They want this house. And I feel like I just keep hearing falsifying documents because this person might be in bad health. They might also try to make somebody, this false person might also try to make somebody look like they're in bad mental health so they're not fit to be running their own estate. Like this could be someone that wants some kind of control. I'm almost feeling like, I'm almost getting like the, the what, that, what was that, that Britney Spears case that, that happened recently where she was like controlled by her father for years and years. I'm almost getting that for some where, oh, Damn, that makes the child card make sense. Okay, for some, there's a few different storylines here, so bear with me. But for some, this person wants control over someone here. And they might even go to the court and try to say this person is in bad mental health or they're in bad physical health. They're they're like a child. They can't make their own decisions. Um, what was it? The conservatorship, I think it was, that Britney Spears was under. Someone might actually try to get that on. It's like if they're losing um, control over someone that they, they care about, they might actually try to manipulate. the. Someone's trying to manipulate the court system here. But you don't want to, you need to block this person out. Don't let them manipulate you. Don't let them one up you. And if you feel like this is what they're trying to do, you need to be a few steps ahead of them and maybe even go to go to a counselor and like have it declare that you are in perfect mental health. Like you're, you know what I mean? Or you're good. Like it's, or even if you're not in great mental health, it's like you can still go to a therapist and, and talk to them and open up about traumas and depression and anxiety but they'll, the therapist is still going to see that you're you're logical. You're able to make your own decisions still, even if you're you know dealing with depression and anxiety. Those things are normal. So I almost feel like even if you are going through it and going to a therapist, it's like that will still help you in court because this therapist is going to be like, yeah, they're they're dealing with depression, they're dealing with anxiety, but they're they're making these changes. They're in therapy. They're trying to better their life. Like this this is an adult. They're you know, everyone goes through these struggles, through traumas, through stress, because this person in court, if that's your storyline, this person's going to make you out to be like, like they're schizophrenic, they're crazy, like they don't have any grip on reality, like they're going to lie in court. And the therapist is going to be like, no, they're not like, like, no, they're if, if they are, if they do have mental illness, they're taking their medication, like they're good, like they're they're dealing with depression, anxiety, they're dealing with stress, even if there is some kind of mental disorder, the therapist is going to be like, they're they're getting help for it. They're they're completely they're of sound mind, basically. So you're not going to have to worry about it. I think therapy is actually going to help you in this case, because the counselor is going to, you know, be able to, to show the court like, hey, this, you know, they're, they're not nearly as mentally unstable as this person is making them out to appear. For others of you, if this is your storyline, 
I feel like this is just somebody that's trying to use this older relative here for it's like this it's like this person's like faking concern because they want this house and they might actually be this person might be in bad physical health someone's trying to cheat the court system here there basically is what i'm getting for others of you though this might be somebody that's trying to get a house from you like they're trying to get you to sign a false document or they're trying to get you to um like they like maybe like a shady business deal or something like that that you have to watch out for like they're trying to get you to sign something but there's some sneaky behavior going on behind the scenes that you want to watch out for or it could be like the squatters white right storyline where it's like this person wants to stay for you know a month or so so that they can they, they'll have their mail coming to your house and then they can be like oh see i you know I, I live here i live here like you can't kick me out i live here this person if you're dealing with someone who's like desperate for a place to stay and like you know that and you can feel that desperate energy you need to watch your back and this is this isn't like a genuine person who needs help like you'll know if you're dealing with a good person but this would be someone that you probably you probably know that they have a history of like lying or stealing or like you know that they can be shady you know that they can be kind of um like dramatic to get what they want like they'll this is the kind of person that will like like they don't mind manipulating people or even even exploiting the elderly to get what they want like this person will this is this person's a survivor this person that I'm that I'm picking up on this this woman she's a survivor type she's the type that's like even if she does have love for people she's still she'll still throw someone under the bus to protect herself she's still out for herself primarily you know what I mean? Maybe someone who's gone through a lot. So she's like, you know, I'm going to do what's best for me. I'm sorry. No hard feelings. I, I did what I have to do. You know what I mean? Not someone that has a very deep loyalty. Somebody that will will kind of screw people over if she needs to. But again, you would have felt this energy. So don't, if you're dealing with someone who's really genuine and just needs some help, that's, that's probably not for you. This is someone that you you know that they can lie. You know that they can be shady. You know that they're the you know killer be killed mentality type like I'm gonna survive at all costs I'm gonna do what's right for me I don't care if I have to you know do some shady shit to get there this person doesn't have integrity I just there's something about documents just don't sign any documents don't make any major agreements with anybody right now if this is your story Someone's going to try to lie in court. Someone's going to try to lie to some kind of court system or they have some kind of plan to get something. And for a lot of you, it's a house. This person wants this person wants a house somehow. This person wants to get something that's not rightfully theirs. That's not it's not in this person's will or it's it's not um, maybe if this isn't like a family situation, it's just it's not whatever it is. It's not rightfully theirs message great fortune wealthy man yeah someone might be trying to take advantage of a wealthy man courthouse yeah someone wants to take this wealthy man to court i just get such a shitty energy from this person it's, it's like because i feel and i feel like it's a woman because it keeps coming out as a woman but it might not be. It could be a male for some of you. But but I think someone wants to take advantage of this wealthy man for sure. It's like they want to take him to court. I just keep thinking they want something that's not rightfully theirs. Like it's not, they, they don't care if they have to lie to get it. It's like this man earned this, whether it's a house or it's money, whatever his fortune is, it's like he earned it. And I feel like this person is just kind of bitter. Like she doesn't, she's not a very strong minded person. So she doesn't know how she's going to earn that herself or how she's going to get there herself. So she wants to kind of cheat the system. It's it's almost like the kind of person too that just feels like the universe owes them something like like a victim mentality type, kind of like a lazy victim type is what I get from this woman like, "Oh, I've been through this and this and this and, you know, life has been hard for me. I'm I deserve this." Like she doesn't care how to who she has to hurt to get it. Distant horizons toil yeah because she wants she does not want to have to go back to work she wants she does not want to have to work she wants to keep distant horizon she wants to keep toil and labor she wants to keep that as far as her from possible this could be someone that's not working or they were working in the past but they like it's like they feel like they can't work like they feel like they don't like they want to live off this man somehow they, they want to get his money somehow 
they want an end to this situation. They don't want to have to go back to work or they don't want to have to go back to being independent or have to relying on them, having to rely on themselves. They want other people to just provide for them. And this isn't like, this isn't like a positive, like, you know, stay at home mom or something. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about somebody who will like, even if she has some love and concern for this man, she might care about him, but she's still like, is just out for herself primarily either way. Community. Like she feels like she's owed, it's like delusional energy. She feels like she's owed something. Yeah, she wants things handed to her. She's in despair. She wants she wants people in the community to just step up and support her and just give her this money. Unexpected income. She wants to present herself in a really positive light so she can get this money. She wants to present herself as this mature woman, someone who's who's lo loving, who's loyal, who's stable. But deep down she's actually very insecure. She's very childish. She's very petty. She doesn't want people to see that, though. She wants to present herself in a positive light so that the community will support her and give her money so that she'll have money coming in. Mm, be careful if you're married or considering marrying this woman. If you know who this is. Sign, sign the, what is it, like the prenup or whatever? Yeah, thief. <laughs> Marriage lovers thief. Some of them are some of them are gonna try to trap someone into a marriage so that I keep getting something about documents. Don't sign anything, don't agree to anything. Don't let someone stay if this is if this is the if you know who you're dealing with here, don't let her come live with you for over a month where she can, you know, go to court and be like, Well, I'm getting mail here. I've been getting mail here for a month. So see, I live here, I have claim on this house, it's our house. Some of them, it's like she's she might even love this man to some toxic way, and she's trying to manipulate him into a commitment with her. Maybe she kind of thinks it's like maybe she maybe she's trying to break him down, and she thinks maybe he'll just go along with it. Like, oh yeah, my mail's coming here, and we you know it's been coming for a few months, so it's our house now. He he, like we're moving in together. Like like just really shady energy because yeah, she might have love for him. But she wants, yeah, she wants to manipulate him. This person needs to be aware of this. Marriage lovers. For others, I'm getting the message that she's going to try to marry this man to get money from him. Like she's going to, that's why when you're, and again, only take it if it resonates. You'll know if you're dealing with someone like this. But if you're, um, if you're getting married and you're signing these documents and like, she's like, oh, I want us to, like, she didn't, she, like, you bought the house yourself, and she's like, oh, I want, you know, I, I want us to, um, I want 50% of everything you earn, or some, something that she didn't earn, like, she's gonna want to put that in the documents, like, she might even try to go behind your back to do that somehow, where she's like, she, she wants something that she did not earn, so with this type of woman, you can't really trust her to, um, you, you just need to be careful with those documents if you're getting married to someone like this, you need to be careful. You need to be on the lookout for red flags. Yeah, she wants to be the main female in this man's life, but she's not. And she feels trapped and in prison because of it. She doesn't like that. He might not love her anymore is what it might be. He might be thinking about somebody else. Yeah, he's thinking about a privileged lady. Gift. He's wanting to gift someone something. And she doesn't like it. Yeah, he has, he has integrity. He has honor. He's worked hard for, for whatever he's he's doing. Yeah, she wants this man's money. She wants money or she wants... I feel like a house for most. I'm feeling like a house. But for some, it's money too. She doesn't want to have to go back to work. For some, this could be a sibling. This could be like a male or female sibling as well that's trying to exploit somebody that's elderly because it's like they want... They, they just want more than what they're entitled to is what I'm feeling. So you need to be really careful with this person. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. I hope that helped you guys. Please comment too if it helped. Thank you guys.